Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. This is Peter Drury and next to me providing insights will be Jim Beglin. Hi Peter, it's great to be here. Starting lineups. So off we go then. Spreads it wide. Ganso. So what now? a long forward pass well played he saw that coming well that's where he wants it oh, well intercepted really alert to the danger Messi. Decent ball. And it's corner. Gets up to head it. Dispatch clinically. And that gives them an overall lead. A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. So they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. And he's made certain that won't get through. Plays it out to the flank. Ganso. We sit high. And it's Messi. Fluminense saved by a real stroke of luck there. It just fell kindly. Well, those are the kind of mishaps that all players experience through their careers. Uh, a mistake when you least wanted it, and it's just very annoying. Tries a long pass towards the front. Looks like a good ball through. Oh, he couldn't quite make it. Ganso cuts it out, aimed long and direct, dashing forward at pace. Luminense have escaped via some do or die defending. He had a decision to make there and he got it absolutely spot on with a beautiful piece of timing in the tackle. Any hesitation then would have either seen him get a card or his team concede a goal. And I can only say, well done, son. Plays it out 
to the wing. It's a loose ball. Decent enough try. Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer, and you have to think a little bit more about that. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Leading 1-0 at the break. So, off we go once. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. It's Ganso. Now surely. Tries to get it forward quickly. Messi. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Pumps it upfield. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. And he's there to hoof it away. Messi did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. He proceeds it all the way. And so truthfully it was hard to see any better outcome there who's going to make this theirs looks to slip it through ball through needs to be good here and the defence can get it clear it's gone out for a throw in Be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. It was long and forward. Crosses it in low. Really didn't have enough to concern the defence. Fluminense have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Looking to hit the front line. And the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Let's put a stop to that. Fluminense have a free kick. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Ball swung in. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. And on to the semi-final. Another hurdle cleared. Next up, the penultimate step. Well, you know, it's not easy to hold on to a lead over a long period, but I thought they showed great shape and good discipline 